and welcome back to another riveting ESPN Sports Center. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. I'm your host, Jasper, not my real name, and I'll be the cause of your ears bleeding at the end of this review. Well, now that we got that over, let's start with this. Alright, so what are you looking at? You're looking at the new gladiatorians by Bionicle. Who are they? <laughs> That's why I do crazy hand gestures. So we're going to be starting off with, ooh, let's start off with these. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. These things are pointless. Part two. So, this is a two-part review, as I said last time. I'm going to get off with the whole, ugh, unless I feel like it, which I'm totally into it right now. But I'm, this is a two-part review. It's probably going to end up in three. Um, one part for this guy, one part for this guy, one part for the boxes and uh, other things. So we're going to get on with the most important thing. I'm guessing it's this guy. What's his name again? No, Tarix. Quite interesting. Tarix and Birix. One letter, almost. Maybe two. So pretty much just the first. A R. Well, T A and B E. How you, would you look at that? Even when I'm looking at the words, it doesn't make sense. But enough of that crazy rant. You're probably getting bored of just seeing this guy move. Aesthetics of this set. Whoa. His mask. Quite an amusing thing about that. No, oh, quite you. I have this put onto close focus, even though YouTube will be able to successfully mess up my video. Quite an interesting mask. Looks more like a knight's helmet, if you'd ask me. A knight's helmet, or, that's right, a knight's mask. So, the hand thing behind here is allowing the camera to zoom in, so that, well, allowing the camera to focus very well, so that on YouTube this video actually looks plausible. You notice that there's a dot here because that plug is there. Would you like a dot right in the front of the face? I don't think so. Giving them whatever the crap they can do, like what they did to him. Ah, but enough of that guy. Or is it? You want more? Well, part two! You know, if I did videos in two minutes, how ridiculous would that be? It's like, okay, start the video. Oh, it's over! I usually push the limit for ten minutes, then I just get on with it. On to the weapons. Well, I guess I should probably talk about the face as well. If you've seen any of my other gladiator interviews, you all know that the heads are exactly the same. If you haven't, well, then you're really out of date. That, or else you just only watch the good videos. Here's his face. I n am not falling into that stereotype of everyone saying that phrase. Forgot the word. Uh, cameras cannot focus on heads like this. See, right now for me, through the camera, it looks really clear. On YouTube, I bet you this looks like crap. So that's going to be awesome. Um, let's go with the weapons. Weapons. Ah. Well, obviously, you got this weapon right here. Yeah, that's right. Weapon. I, I, I'm going to use the word like 15 times just so you go, Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just said that again. So they got this. This is one piece. It's attached right there. So it's there, which is sort of redundant because it's like exactly the same. Also attached right there. Well, that won't focus. And this is one of those new connector rods. That's right. They actually had to improve these, which I think was pretty strange, but in the end, a good idea. Oh yeah, for the hands or for the holding part, I guess this is uh the piece. Quite interesting. <laughs> From a head-on view, so it looks like, ah! Oh, who knew? Um, let's see. Right here. No, that's quite impossible to tell. And no, and no black substances like paper or anything around me. This is going to be one conundrum. Right here, if it's if that's possible or even logical to see. Um, hmm, it's even hard to see from the regular eye. I'll try to figure that how to explain that later. So that's that piece. Throw next launcher. Hmm, quite an interesting idea. What it does is it goes onto here and he can shoot. So yeah, you can sort of corral it and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot it at that outlet or something related to that. This is about two feet away, so and I'm gonna launchers right there. I'll just do this so that way I can go like that. You can see it and and if you want to hear what the actual thing sounds like, I'll try my best to not let you hear that because that's what I do. Or is that what I not don't do? That's what I not do. How ridiculous is that? Like Paul. Pretty pimpin'. So, as crazy as that was for you to see and riveting for me, 
I'm easily entertained by flying objects that end up exploding. Yes, that's right, these things, if they're overly ripe, even though they're made of plastic and rubber, explode on contact. But if they're just right, they only hit you in the head and blow your brains out. Oh yes, blow your brains out even though they're not explosive. Completely re uh, Let's use the word redundant again. So, they got the theme blue and gold here. Does that seem like a place? A place's colors? Hmm. Crap. How could I have not th have thought of that before? Ah! So, obviously they copied him. So, <clears throat> let's look at the hands. Hans. They got blue hands this time. I like the hands. Even though beforehand, before I even got any of these, I said I didn't like the hands. It gives Bionicle a new flip side. It's on the flip side. High five, up high, down low, on the flip side. That's right. I did not know how someone could bend their hands like that. But what's quite strange about this set, I, I guess it's strange or deranged, it's hard to tell these days, is that the weapon is right here. Well, the launcher. So, I like it and I don't like it. One, I like it because then you can go, um, okay, this might take a while because I want to pose him so he's sweet. So he's like, oh, he's going to have his hands right there. His arm's going to be up like that, and he's going to be going like that. He's blocking, and then he's going to be shooting. And what's pretty sweet is that... See, this is a terrible angle for you. Angle. Angle for the... Yeah. Is that you can have it like this, so that way he's blocking, and then you can turn this. So it's shooting. So... Ah, I hit myself. How ironic. The shooter becomes shotted. Let's try it. Bow! See, that actually hit the screen. So that's pretty neat. The only problem is weight is a factor. If you're one of the lucky people that gets one of those sets that has their ball and socket joints that are messed up so they're ultra stiff, you are very lucky. If you're one of the people that's unlucky, unlike me, which I'm only in the middle, and their sets are like, yeah, fat jelly man, then, oh crap, seven minutes, then their thing is probably going to be falling down. These spikes on the shoulders, quite amusing. It gives them a nice gladiatorian feel for a hero. So, they got the blue and gold going on. I love that it's metallic. Also, they have this tubing. Tubing, he's not breathing any water. I still absolutely love it. Gives him a great authentic feel. Water tribe. That's right, they copied that from Avatar. How could they? They got this thing on the back, and let's see. Oh, cool. Close focus does work if it works. Works if it works. Let's try this on the flip side. This is Skull. I'm not going to count down for you. There are just two greens, two yellows, two reds. You obviously know what order they go. Green, good, yellow, bad. Red, dead. Red, dead. Who? That rhymes. Don't forget that. They got blue feet. Oh, crap. Okay. Birix and the two canisters are going to be in part two. Part two. See, this video should be ultra long because it's two people at the same time. Too much reviewing than your mind has room for. So I'm off of that crazy nonsense. Um, let's see. How about I do some disclaimers for myself? Okay, didn't make any of this crap. Lego did. Good job for them. Uh, okay. Anodites will be added about an hour after the, vi the video is posted. So if you say, okay, where's the part two link? It will eventually be wherever my hands pass. See? Oh yeah, take that. Now you can't say it didn't pass anywhere. Uh, who's trying to mess with me now? I am. Okay, that was sort of creepy because it looked like he said that well, to me, and even though I'm the one saying it. So, pushing about almost nine minutes. I'm going to cut the video. you got to wait for me to actually post video two after I edit it, which pretty much I have to convert it into MP4, which is annoying because YouTube, uh, nothing exists except MP4. But it's okay, MP4 is like sweet. So, um, I don't know, part two is going to be like really soon. Eh. Sometime within the place. Ooh, look. Shiny. 